hi everyone hope everyone is okay um i just kind of wanted to do a video with everything that's going on in the world right now um firstly i just want to send my condolences to george floyd's family and all the other families that have lost someone due to police brutality and racism so i've written some words down because i feel like when i speak about my experiences or race in general i get really sad and i get upset and i can never really say everything that i want to say so i feel like i've written it down and i just want to share this with you guys so okay last year i decided to open up about being one of four girls in little mix and how my race imprinted my experiences from that interview some people sympathized some said nothing but one thing that i took from that experience is the world did not care enough about race since then, I have tried to use my platform to raise awareness of matters such as racism. At this moment, I feel for the first time in my life, racism is the topic of conversation. We have the world's attention. We cannot see this as a moment. This has to be a movement until the system designed to oppress us is no more and we are seen as equals to our white counterparts. This is not something that can happen overnight. Black people have been oppressed for over 400 years. 400 years later, we are seeing still our black brothers and sisters being shot down and treated with less regard than everyone else. My parents are both mixed race. Both my grandfathers came to England with the Windrush generation and both married white women in a time where interracial relationships was extremely frowned upon. Growing up, me and my sisters never saw race being a limitation on what we wanted to achieve because if our grandparents can raise mixed race children in the 60s, we could do anything. One thing we were doing was sleeping on racism. Too often black people are reminded how far we have come as opposed to how far we can go. In doing this, we sleep on racism. Think about it, do you ever hear white people having to be thankful about how far they have come as a race? There comes a point in every black human's life, no matter how much money you have or what you have achieved, you realise racism does not exclude you. Nine years ago, after joining Little Mix, I had the biggest awakening of my life. <sighs> when we were filming Wings, we worked with Frank Gatson. He said to me, you're the black girl, you have to work 10 times harder. Never in my life had someone told me that I would need to work harder because of my race. Later on, what Frank Gatson said made sense. I learned that the dream of being in the biggest girl band in the world came with its flaws and consequences. Consequences such as knowing about the existing underlying racism in the creative industries. You learn to understand you can't be seen to be too loud or too opinionated, otherwise you're deemed a diva or aggressive. You learn that by walking into a room you are deemed unapproachable or offish before anyone has even approached you. You learn that by voicing your opinion about the lack of diversity within the industry is like smashing your head against a brick wall. So at events, ceremonies, you learn to take great comfort from rare moments when you meet black creatives who understand this feeling or misplacement that you have inside. So for that moment, the dream is alive. And then just like that, reality hits you. My reality was feeling lonely while touring to predominantly white countries I sing to fans who don't see me or hear me or cheer me on. <sighs> My reality is feeling anxious before fan events and signings because I always feel like I'm the least favoured. My reality is constantly feeling like I have to work 10 times harder and longer to mark my place in the group because my talent alone isn't enough. My reality is wanting to see other artists who I know are so talented but will never get the opportunities, opportunities I have had because to the industry they are not marketable. But they will get behind someone else with the aspects of black culture the world wants to see but leave behind the aspects they feel make them unmarketable. My reality is all the times I have felt invisible within my group, part of me is fully aware that my experience would have been even harder to cope with had I been dark skinned. Our reality is no matter how far you think you have come, racism exists. It exists in sports, in the creative industries, in politics and policies, 
in the streets and in the hearts of racist individuals. We are no longer in a position where we need to be quiet on this matter. So let's all continue to speak up on racism and keep this movement going. Thank you.